Hi, Internet and Casey. This is Melly with 25 and 52. I am really tired, <laughs> and it is Saturday. Uh, I made three pounds of meatballs today. That is like so many meatballs, right? Right. Um, and most of them are in my freezer, and so now I will have freezer food that doesn't have gluten or dairy or eggs and has adequate protein, so that's really exciting. And... I don't know, it just was way more exhausting than I thought it would be, which is strange because I'm always exhausted and always surprised by it. It's just one of those lot making a ton of food and things, I guess. Oh, I realized that the uh, for the school I got into, I got my admissions information like exactly backwards, right? Um, so first I was clicking around their uh, school like student website thing and accidentally stumbled upon something that contained the details of like how to uh accept or like in like when you have to and the deposit and stuff like that and i'm like wait okay so i guess do they put this here for everybody or something and then i uh, looked around a little more and then i found the official acceptance letter on their website and so excuse me a couple days later i got an email from the head of the uh program saying You've been accepted into this program at this school. Congratulations. Uh, let me know if you'd like me to put you in touch with a current student. And then a couple days after that, I got a email from the school saying, congratulations, you were accepted into this school. You should have gotten a letter and a gift in the mail, and if not, I'm sure you'll be getting one soon. And then a couple days went by, and then I got the notification email that they'd mailed out, the uh, admissions decision letter package. And so that should arrive on Tuesday. <laughs> so I feel like this was sort of reverse-ish, but I don't know. I got in, and that's really what I care about right now, so yeah. Uh, I've been kind of stressing out about what to wear to the uh, interview for, at uh, North Carolina. So I'm going to be going to my parents' house to figure out if that's where I left like some of my nice clothes. <laughs> Um, but turns out I do have a pair of slacks that are hemmed in the correct way that I can wear flats and not look like a doofus. Um, so that's certainly a good start. Also, not entirely relevant, but my shirt has dragonflies on it and I really want to show that off. See? Dragonflies. What? So cool. And it's from Express, and sorry, boob time. And it has like one of those little snaps between the buttons, and so it doesn't... Like, between that and the fact it's, like, a looser thing, it doesn't, like, completely, like, do the gappy thing, which is awesome. So I'm probably going to buy some more of these shirts now that I found out that I like wearing them. <laughs> so the comic book I'm reading on Marvel Unlimited right now is called Guardians of the Galaxy. They're making it into a movie uh, the, that comes right before Avengers 2 and the whole Marvel movie continuity, right? <laughs> It's a little like weird, right? So a lot of the superheroes are basically like Earth-based, right? They solve New York City-wide problems or Earth-wide problems, uh, with some exceptions where they're like beamed off to the moon or space or something, and then suddenly everyone's gone and there's like the space where I don't really know. A lot of things happen, but <laughs> anyway, there's this whole other group of like cosmic heroes, right? And uh, the Guardians of the Galaxy are some of those, and they are made up of some green assassins and white people with powers, or one who used to have powers, I think. I don't actually have those anymore. Anyway, and Groot, who is a tree, who basically just says, I am Groot, and is, like, large and uh, strong and shit, and their, their weapons expert is a raccoon. His name is Rocket Raccoon, and I kind of love that. So that's really uh, the, like, moment of silly, uh, <laughs> silly geek excitement that I've been experiencing. Um, lately and like objectively speaking it's not especially good <laughs> at least the stuff that I'm reading from it uh, but it's real fun uh, and I'm pretty excited for turning into a movie also also there are two ladies who are in a relationship uh, and that was just revealed to me in the last issue I read and that was very exciting to me um, well they're kind of in a relationship is oh her lover but it was still very exciting to me the other thing that's been happening that's really annoying is that our apartment keeps having little problems. Uh, so for a while ago, we heard uh, context in case I'm watching, I or someone else is watching this like much later, right? So this winter, there's been a whole bunch of like sub-zero days, and then it snows for a couple days, and then it's 
very, very cold and it snows for a couple days and every so often it gets above freezing, but not for very far, not for very long. Uh, so one of the earlier times it went above freezing, we heard this dripping uh, coming from the ceiling in the bathroom, which is not a great thing uh, because, you know, water goes somewhere and then it freezes, which like makes an opening and then it melts and then water goes in and then it freezes. So it makes it, so it stretches and then drips. Anyway, it's bad. <laughs> and so that progressed. Well, that, that completely went away because it was too cold for weeks. Um, right. And so then it came back and with the dripping sound, there was actual moisture and like bubbling in the paint, you know? Uh, and so we called the landlord and we were like, Hey, Julie, so something's happening. <laughs> Uh, and it was affecting the bathroom below it, in the apartment below us too. Um, so a roofer came in and got that fixed, hooray! Uh, and then as I was coming home that day, I that day meaning Thursday, Thursday, I saw a sign in the uh, main hallway downstairs that said, no hot water until we can get a uh, hot water, new water heater. And so I was like, it is negative two or eight or something like it wasn't negative two it was like eight degrees ten degrees somewhere there. it was cold <laughs> it was cold and i was cranky and i'm still kind of cranky about that but it was just one day so i'm not that cranky it got fixed yay and then i take a shower saturday today and uh get told afterwards that water from that shower which is the other one than the roof water shower was <laughs> leaking downstairs I don't know why. We've kind of had this problem before, but it went away, and I'm not sure what they did. But I didn't change anything. <laughs> but hopefully it'll be, an e at least part of it'll be an easy fix, and since I am out renting, I don't have to figure out or pay for it. That's someone else's deal. I'm just hoping it gets fixed in a way that doesn't involve a ton of strangers in my apartment all the time. Just, you know, personal preference and all that. So that's my uh, apartment saga of the moment kind of a royal pain and I hate winter which you know is not news <laughs> but everything else I think is going pretty well and yeah I think that's all I love you bye bye